Hello, my friends, and welcome to another exciting episode of Hunting Rocks. I bet you'll never guess where I'm at. You'll never guess. That's right. I'm up in Garnet Hill, up in Garnet Hill, Nevada. Um, I'm on my way to Delta. I decided to stop in here today, do a little dig and stretch my legs a little bit. It's about a six-hour car drive to where I'm going. So I drove about four hours from Winnemucca to here, and uh, we're going to walk down the hills and we're gonna find some garnets here. I was here last year, had a lot of fun. It's kind of crazy. It's earlier in the year right now, and it's a whole lot warmer than it was last year. But it also doesn't look like it's gonna rain. So this is a nice spot to come to. It is a free spot that you can come to for those of you who might not want to pay to go in mine. Uh, you guys know me, I like to do the everyman stuff. So, uh, great place you're gonna find some stuff super easy to do you've got the dig piles all around anywho that's enough talk from me as I'm walking along I'm looking at the ground let's go find some cool stuff now this is a rock hounding area and this is all by light it's on the ground this is where the garnet's at so you can see a lot of people have dug through here um, if you are coming up this way and you use Google Maps, take Powerline Road, the uh, other road, I'm not so sure it gets you here. It's about three miles once you get off the main road, but it's easy driving, or at least it was this time. I guess it all depends on the weather. I'm going to head down here where I had a lot of luck last year. And as soon as I find the garnet, I'll show you. All right, guys, I've walked down the hill quite a ways. I like to walk away from where the people usually dig because, honestly, people are kind of lazy and don't like to walk too far away because it is uphill on the way back. But I just came across my first garnet. There it is, right there. That is a little red garnet. So I'm definitely getting into the right spot. Not many people come down here, but a lot of rocks will wash down here from up top so I'm gonna plop myself somewhere out of the Sun probably over there take out my little hammer and we'll get to busting some rocks and finding some garnets half the time you don't even gotta bust rocks because like this here ah, simple as that there's another garnet sitting right there it's not a great one but still a garnet all right let me get to work and I'll be back with you. There we go, guys. That's a nice size garnet. That's a big old rock, too. You can see it forms up in those bugs. So I'm going to chip down this rock a little bit. And uh, essentially, you do it like you're uh, flint napping. Just take little bits at a time. I'll get this worked out and then I'll show you what it looks like. There's a pretty little garnet right there. And what's cool with this rock, so I put a little water on it so you can see the uh, garnet better. And it, I know it won't show up on film, but this rock, whenever you pour water onto it, it starts to it starts to pop and crack and sizzle as the water soaks in. It's pretty cool. Sounds like pop rocks. Now over on the other hill is a giant mine, and I'm talking huge. Let me zoom in so you guys can see the patchwork quilt pattern of uh, all their tailings. It's really pretty. Look at that. Look at all the different colors and different layers that they've dug through. That's just amazing. That mine is so big. And also, when you're out here and you go to sit down, watch where you're going to sit. And uh, a little beaver tail cactus would, uh, would have to be a little pokey. Well, that's not a garnet, but that is a pretty little pocket of crystal. I like that. That'll come home with me. Guys, I honestly don't know how I found that one. That is a little speck of garnet sitting on the tip of my finger. Um, I'll find something to put it in. That is a tiny little garnet. It was laying on the ground near these rocks here that I'm getting ready to bust on. It was just sitting there. It was up on that rock. So apparently somebody had busted that one and knocked a piece of it over there. That's a cute little garnet. Yeah, it's gonna come home with me. So I saw something sparkle in the sun. It came over. I found a piece. 
that is just covered in garnets. Man, that one's nice too. That's a real nice garnet in there. All right, you're going in the bag. I don't even want to hit on that one. I'm afraid I'd lose garnets if I did that. And it's a nice thing. Sometimes you don't have to break rock for them. Sometimes you'll see them sparkle. A lot of times you won't. I do know last year I had a little bit better luck, but last year it had also just rained. So apparently when it's wet out here, they show up a little better, which makes sense. Got dust in my nose, I'm about ready to sneeze. Whew. All right, let's check through here. And then I might work my way up to my truck and get my bigger hammer. This stuff is very hard. Oh, something just sparkled. What do we got here? Uh, check for any little critters that might live there. Uh, that, that one, that needs busted. I'll carry it over here and break it. Got some more sparkly here. And that's just quartz in it. That's pretty. Look at that. Leave that line of quartz through there, guys. This place is so cool. I love places like this where you can take the family out. It doesn't cost anything. You can camp out here for free. You can break some rocks for free. Maybe find some pretty looking crystals. You're not going to get rich doing it. But considering the alternatives, free is always a good price. Nope. All right, I'm going to break on this one, and I'll show you what I find. I was starting to think I wouldn't find a garden in it. I was finding a lot of uh, little geodes and whatnot, but right there, tip of my finger, got a garnet. Break that down a little bit, and we'll throw it in the bag. Nope, I'm not going to break it. I just flipped it over where I was going to hit. There's another garnet, so two garnets on there. Heck yeah, I'll go in the bag. All right, I didn't even stand up from the spot. I got ready to move. After I put that in the bag and I saw that rock and something caught my eye. So I'm even going to be lazy and use my hammer to bring it over. <laughs> uh, it's got a line of garnets. Very nice. Those are good looking too. Those are well formed. Okay. Well, in the bag you go. Another nice little line of garnets. Look at this guy bust. I doubt he's got anything in him, but we'll find out here in a second. It doesn't roll away on me. Gravity. Nope. A little bit of garnet there. Nothing to write home about. Once the sun starts hitting them just right, you start to see them everywhere. A little one right there. I take this with me. I don't feel like carrying that whole big rock, so I'll break it up. Let's get down here to this big rock, which I'm sure probably has a couple of garnets in it. Let's see what all we see along through here. I gotta get my phone out of the sun. It's getting a little warm. I'll be right back. Well, maybe I'm gonna take that whole rock. Nice little garnet there. There's that little bitty one I saw at first. There's another one right there. Yeah, I'll take this home and work on it. A little bit, a uh, little bit cleaner environment so I don't lose everything. People have been beating on this rock for a while. I guess I'll join the club and try to take that off. And I'm going to look through that one. Well, shoot, I rolled that rock over. Now I got to find a new home from a little buddy there. Um,. I got just the place for you, pal. Here. Let's climb up on this rock here. And I'm going to put you over there in the shade of that one. Here we go. Made you a nice little bird-proof lean-to. Yeah, that's right. I watch out for all the little critters. Wheel guys, I'm slowly making my way back up. And I uh, came across this rock here that's pretty weathered. Didn't even really have to hit it. 
and it's got some uh ooh, those gardens are falling apart let me get some water on this yeah that garnet there is just deteriorated to nothing i'm going to work on this rock a little bit since it is falling apart so easily and uh see if there's anything inside of it that might still be good all right well they got better inside there's a nice size garnet got a couple there and right there I'm gonna finish splitting this side out those are the ones that i found earlier that are kind of uh i mean they're a little deteriorated but not bad so let's see oh yeah those popped right out for me yay let's see if i can get these out without losing any of them oh there we go ah almost lost them there we go nice dark dark garnet there's some right up in there too Checking both sides of my rock. Sorry guys, it's kind of hard to do one-handed. But I wanted you guys to see what goes into it. What do we got here? A little bit of garnet right there. Oh, yep. There's the other part of it. I'll probably leave that one. Let somebody else break on that one. I am going to get those out though. Uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come back to you once I get them out. All right, I got them busted out. And uh, they had friends down below them. So this rock actually turned out to be pretty darn good for garnets. Into the bag. I'm going to go ahead and tear up the rest of this rock. Searching for garnet in it. Ow, it pinched me. I see one. I don't see any over here. I see a little one right there and there's another little one right there so get these out and uh, check the rest of this hill I'm gonna make my way back to the truck because my bags getting pretty full and uh, I'm doing better than I thought I would today all right my friends that is Garnet Hill Nevada free place to come and dig super cool easy to get here lots of parking free camping like i said in the intro but uh i am on my way now to delta utah where i'm going to spend a couple nights uh, gonna dig some you dig uh fossils of course because you guys know me i love my trilobites be doing that monday and then sunday i'm going which is tomorrow i'm going to go dig some dugway geodes and hopefully i find some I'm also going to pick up a case of water. It's probably not a bad idea. Anywho, guys, I'll see you when I get back to St. Louis. All right, guys, that was Garnet Hill, Nevada. It's a pretty cool place. It's free to go. It's free to look around. It's free to camp up there. It's all BLM land. It's really awesome. Um, I'm going to put the GPS coordinates into the, uh, the about section of the video. So go down there, read the about section. If you want to go up, that's where you go. Uh, you can kind of take Google Maps, but it kind of gets wonky. You want to take Powerful Road. Anyhow, that's enough of that. GPS at the bottom. Punch it in. Pop up Google Maps. and It'll take you right to that GPS. But anyhow, let's take a look at what I found. So it doesn't look like much. Looks like a bunch of just brown, dirty rocks. Uh, <clears throat> and honestly, when you're up there, that's what it'll look like. Let me get the water hose. Spray these off real quick, though. All right, these rocks are super dry and I don't know if you can hear it on camera you probably can't because my air conditioner is running but these rocks crackle and pop when they get wet let me see if I can hear one uh, I put it up close so maybe you could hear it I don't know but as you can see inside of these rocks are beautiful little garnets now I'm going to spend some time later on once it's cooled off a bit I'm going to pop some of those garnets out, if I can, or at least polish up the rocks so you can see them better. That's a nice one right there. But they are just out there, ready for a rock hound to go up and look around. 
if you don't feel like banging on rocks like I did, you can search the, um, there it is. You can search the uh, washes that are up there and I'll tell you about that in just one second. Okay, so the washes out there, a lot of times after rain, you'll be able to find little bitty garnets, pretty good sized garnets. So this year what I did was I went to the bottom of one of those washes. I had some great big trash bags and uh, I put about 10 shovelfuls of dirt into a trash bag, take home, see if I can find anything. I'm not gonna pan it out here on this video, but coming up in the future, I've got some other dirt that I collected out in open Arizona, which hopefully will have gold in it. Of course, it's all BLM land, so it's all nice and legal. And uh, we're gonna see if I can't maybe pan out any garnets, maybe pan out any gold. I don't know, we'll see. That video may come out, it may be a total wash, and this is all a dream. All right, guys, that's the video for the day. That is Garnet Hill. You do this every time. I love you. But as always, hope you had a good time. Hamilton hopes you had a good time. Hope we can get a like, share, and subscribe. And guys, we will see you the next time. We're all hunting rocks, won't we, Hamilton? Yeah, yeah, we'll definitely see him. Okay, say bye, Hamilton. Bye, everybody. You're going to say bye? No, you're sticking around this time. He's sticking around because I said he was rude for leaving last time.